They're plentiful, stylish, and some even serve a purpose. Today, we're going to count down the Terraria Top 5 Statues. For this list, I'm going to be counting down the most top 5 useful. Feel free to add your top 5 Terraria statues down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. These are the statues that I feel that you can set up with a wire and trigger and either make a lot of gold or get a lot of help from. Either way, let's go ahead and get started at number 5. The slime statue can be quite helpful. While not very profitable, you can actually set up a slime farm that can actually help you get the slime staff early on. Great for summoners. Granted, the staff has a 1 in 10,000 drop chance. Still, it's very helpful and this is probably the most efficient way of getting it. You can have up to three slimes per player at one time, but once one is killed, another one spawns instantly with the statue activated. Good luck and happy hunting for that staff. Number four. The bomb statue may be easier for some players to find and is quite useful. Set this up and you'll no longer have a reliance on the demolitionist, unless you need dynamite. But the bombs do come in handy and should you ever lose the demolitionist, at least you can go ahead and spawn more bombs in to get him back. While it's not a major profit turner, free bombs are free bombs and when you can sell them back at 60 copper a clip, it can help out in a pinch. Number three. The jellyfish statue, once set up, can summon in those little critters of the deep, the jellyfish. Why does this statue make the number three slot? Two words, jellyfish necklace. You also have the glow sticks and the jellyfish banners along with the necklace. It's the jellyfish necklace that gets you the most return. It sells for one gold apiece and can actually become one of the more profitable statues out there. It can also be combined with the diving gear to make the jellyfish diving gear. A pretty helpful little trinket for underwater explorers. Number two. While the star statue can be quite helpful, it's best to try to get a couple of them at a time. Wire these things up and you can actually have free mana on the go just with the press of a switch or a button or a pressure plate, whatever. This is one of those helpful statues you should use during a boss fight if you're having a hard time as they can get you mana back at a pretty decent rate, if properly wired. The only down part is trying to find these statues in the wild can be a bit time consuming and for some it may almost be impossible, like me. Overall though, anything that helps you get mana back is awesome and definitely deserves a higher slot on this list. And finally, number one. The heart statue is probably one of the most helpful ones in the game. Of course, giving you hearts, which gives you health. Shocker, right? This is another one of those statues you'd want to have during a boss fight if you're having issues. You're getting free health back at the press of a switch or a pressure plate. So with that, it's just as good as having potions in the field of battle. Again, you probably want to get several of these statues to make a large difference. But in the end, you're just hoping to have good luck in order to find them. Overall, I do believe this statue is probably the most helpful statue in the game, and I really couldn't think of anything else that goes on top of this list. That's going to do it for our Terraria Top 5 Statues. Feel free to share your opinion in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to rate it. It helps the channel and is highly appreciated. Subscribe for more Terraria Top 5s, gameplay, and other videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day, and if not, then just simply fake it. The day's almost over, and I will see you again next time, my elements.